Hi again, thanks um, for uh, your company. So Galatians chapter 3 and verse 10 offers the kind of flip side of what we were looking at yesterday in the previous couple of verses. Those verses were talking about faith uh, in the um, justification that Abraham first announced, or rather that God announced to Abraham. Uh, and in, from verse 10, um, we, we pick up the other side of the coin that Paul has already been mentioning time and time again. He's really, really insistent that this message drives home. So let me read from verse 10. <clears throat> For all who rely on the works of the law are under a curse. As it is written, cursed is everyone who does not continue to do everything written in the book of the law. Cursed is everyone who does not continue to do everything that's written in the book of the law. So the law was given by God uh, to his people in what we refer to as the Old Testament, the nation of Israel. This law was given. But even in giving that law, God knew that nobody would be able to keep it. Nobody would be able to keep every detail of the, the, the regulation, the commandments that were being issued. Somebody calculated there are well over 600 elements to this law. And uh, it was impossible for all of us, for any of us, to, to keep and to maintain um, complete and utter obedience and clarity to that law. And so cursed is everyone who does not continue to do, because he, he knows full well that, that nobody can. And so this uh, verse opens up with this, all who rely on the law are under a curse. So we have this kind of dichotomy, this choice between uh, faith in, in the person of Jesus or uh, obedience to the law. Uh, two ways, if you like, two, two channels, if you like, to be able to get to God and to, to receive um, uh, redemption in God but what Paul is saying is is that trying to remain obedient to the law which could work but is impossible because none of us can do it so instead in our fallen state in our failing state we are we turn to Jesus and we recognize that in him is the author and perfecter of faith as it says in the Hebrew in Hebrews in him in Christ is our root to God and to the family of God, to acceptance, adoption into his family by faith. And that's the kind of simple choice. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's an awful choice because one of them is one that we can't make, but people still try and do so. People still try and live by the law, try and um, buy their way into heaven by saying, well, I'm a good person and I give this to charity and I do that for other people and blah, 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 blah. But that's kind of tantamount to trying to keep the law. We're not good enough in our own strength, in our own way, and it, by our own means. We have to depend upon the only one who is free from sin, and that's Jesus. But the good news is, the great news is that we can, because that's what Jesus came to offer us. Uh, that salvation, that redemption, that restoration in God's family. So let's rejoice today. Let's live lives today that give thanks to God for that. And let's pray now. Lord God, thank you so much that you sent Jesus that whoever believes in him need not perish, but will know eternal life. Just praise you for that, Lord. Amen. God bless you. Uh, how about trying to share that good news and feeding back? Let's share with one another how uh, we're able to do that, if at all. But God bless you as you try. Take care.